As a busy stay-at-home mom, I'm always looking for tips and tricks on ways to make my life easier. As you guys know, when I find them, I like to share them with you guys. Also, budget-friendly ideas. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Heidi. I'm a wife and a mom of two. And today's video is special. I am collaborating with a company called Redmond. They have different products. And the product that I'm sharing this month with you guys is a three-in-one waffle maker. As some of you guys know, I am decluttering. I like the fact that this waffle maker does not take up a lot of space. It's not huge and bulky. It is actually slim and sleek, and I will share with you guys all the functions, how to use it, what my thoughts are. So I want to thank Redmond for sponsoring today's video and collaborating with me. Let's go ahead and jump right on in to what I made. I made a breakfast, and I also made a lunch for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So here it is, the 3-in-1 Waffle Maker by Redmond. It comes with three different interchangeable plates, two a piece because you're going to put one on the bottom and then also one on the top. So I took them all out so I could share how easy it is to put it in there. It did come with one already in there and the other two were packaged very nicely as well. So all you're going to do is take the little end pieces that have the little prong looking things and you're going to just slide that in and it literally just pops down. It's that simple and I like that it was easy to figure out and I wasn't trying to figure out how to do it. It was just really simple. So I popped those in. The first thing you wanna do when you get your machine is read the manual. And when I was reading, I noticed the first time you use it, you wanna let it heat up for 10 minutes. So that's exactly what I did. There was some smoke, but I didn't smell anything and it says it is normal and harmless. So what I did was I let it sit for 10 minutes. I set my timer. I don't know if you guys can tell, there was a little bit of smoke. But after that, I was ready to make my first meal with this and I was excited to try it. So what I'll be making for y'all is a hot ham and cheese sandwich, like a panini type sandwich. I have some sourdough bread we'll be using, honey ham, we love the thin slice, organic mild cheddar cheese, and I have some plant-based butter that I'll be using as well. So the one side, the light is red and the other one's not lit up. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and whip up my sandwiches. I put the butter on each side of the sandwich. I ended up putting two slices of cheese and just two slices of the ham. This is how simple it is. You press the button and you pull up and then all you do is pop it back down. That's how easy it is to open and close this amazing gadget. This is also great for grilling. I wanna try to grill some chicken and put it over a salad, like a taco chicken salad. I think that would be really good. This was a great lunch. I am excited to make some grilled cheese on here as well. So we can have grilled cheese and soup one night. This does many different varieties of different foods. I can't wait to try more out. This is what it looks like. I did cook this a little bit longer. This was my first one. I made it really crispy. The second one, I didn't do it so crispy. This was mine. My husband had the crispier one. So you can choose to your liking, like how crispy you want it, how light and fluffy you want it. I really do like that. Let's go ahead and jump into the next thing that I made for my kids for breakfast, a quick easy and simple one. So I'll be using a different interchangeable plate. I'm using the waffle one. I'm making cinnamon roll waffles. I have shared waffles before using cinnamon rolls, but I wanted to test it out on this gadget to see how good it actually did. And you guys, this was perfection. I used the cinnamon rolls. I also used cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon dust icing on half of the cinnamon rolls. They do only fit two at a time, which is perfect. Before, I could only do one at a time, so it cuts down on the cook time a lot. And these only took about four to five minutes to cook her two cinnamon rolls, and then you're gonna repeat the process four to five minutes and so forth. It is ready to cook, so what I'm gonna do is open up the cinnamon rolls, and I'm gonna place them right on. No spray, no nothing on there. You don't wanna put any kind of sprays on there. So both lights are on on the green side. Once it's done cooking, it will click off. I didn't realize that. I just kept checking it, but there's no harm in checking it to see how you want your waffle or anything that you're cooking on there. And these were light and fluffy. It wasn't like too hard like a waffle. So I really did like that. I'm excited to try some regular waffles on here as well. And then Brody, he requested some grilled cheese sandwiches on the little sandwich maker where it cuts it. So I will be making him some. I'll probably put some pepperoni and cheese on there and make it like a little pizza sandwich for him. You guys know he loves pizza, but this is what it looks like. It's perfection. It's light, gold, and fluffy. And you can see there are some cinnamon on the plate. And literally, if you like press it in with the waffle, it was, it glided off with ease. Like 
There was no stickiness to it. It didn't stick to the waffle plate. That's one other thing that I love. I don't like spending a whole lot of time scrubbing something after I cook. So this was really great. So let me tell you a little bit more about this waffle maker. It has a cool touch handle, which I love because my other waffle maker, I had to use like a pot holder and pull it up and hope that I didn't burn myself, but I love this. So if you have kids and are learning how to cook that are a little bit older, this would be the perfect little gadget to help them learn. Also, it has the indicator light like I told you guys about. Underneath, it has a slip resistant. That way, when you're cooking, it's not going all over the place, which I do love. And then for the wire to wrap around for your storage is also pretty cool too. You wrap it around underneath and it's not hanging out anywhere. It's perfectly in its own spot. If it reaches 518 degrees, it automatically shuts off so you don't have to worry about it overheating. So I do like that function on here as well. It didn't shut off on me. It cooked just fine. I didn't have any issues with that. For me, I love shopping on Amazon and they sell on Amazon. I'm going to link it in the description box so you guys can check them out. You know I love affordable, friendly, and easy, convenient products. And I do recommend this one. So this is what the waffle machine looks like after cooking all the cinnamon rolls. You can see the cinnamon flakes in there. It's still in there. But what you do is you let the machine cool completely. You want to make sure you also use like silicone and nothing that's going to scratch or dent. But you can see right here, I'm going to show you how easy it came up with just putting it on the waffle. It was just cinnamon. And then after that, I let it cool down completely and I used a damp paper towel. It says to use a damp cloth. My paper towels are like cloths to me. So it's the Viva paper towels. So I just wet it. I didn't put anything on it and it easily wiped up as you can see like i literally touched it and it came up so what i did was clean it really good and have it ready for the next time i use it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i'm going to link in the description box everything you need to know about the Rideman waffle maker and where you can find it they do sell on amazon i'm going to have all that in the description box i hope you guys have a great day until next time bye guys